exceptional of us, Perry Chris, it's Zemmer's turn. <laughs> he waited a whole week for his turn. I'm very patient. Like, it's not a week. Uh, it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. He waited a whole two days for his he turn. He just waited a Draft them all into North Africa. Fuck off. What? Fuck off! We're helping you! It's not our fault that you got the short end of the stick! I got no short end of any stick. Are you fucking sure? No. You're holding on to a divided empire. Yeah, and you know what happens to divided empires? They fall. They rebuy. <laughs> no, they don't! <laughs> they come sure? back with all the glory. History. And then they lose if, again. If history has taught us anything, yeah. Let's look at let's look at what history has taught us. Revision. <laughs> That's the word. revision. They revision. Terabytes. Man, revise you, black. <laughs> So I mentioned on another episode, I've been watching a lot of World War II docs, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm just episode two. And what? Well, yeah, I guess now. Watching, yeah. uh, watching these documentaries, it's kind of like, how the fuck did anyone do anything in this war? Like, how did, how did anything happen? <laughs> the U.S. generals, like their general staff, was just so awful at what their jobs were. Uh, one of the big ones was the Battle of the Bulge. When it happened, it was reported to General Bradley, who was, I, uh, I want to say, like, field marshal. Not a field marshal, because that's a rank. But he was in charge of, of that, like, of that area of France kind of thing. Uh, not only was he not there, like, he was in Paris hanging out with Eisenhower. <laughs> when he got reports of what was happening, he didn't believe it. <laughs> He's like, no, it's... Uh, He's like, they're just testing our lines, it's not an invasion. No, no, seriously. This shit is for real. Uh, <laughs> and then he just like, he just fucked off for like a day. And no one could get a hold of him. And so like, the Americans couldn't do shit without him, right? And what ended up happening is Eisenhower ended up ordering a defensive line in the Ardennes. Uh, and he ordered General Bradley to go lead it to the defensive. Uh, another big thing about it was... General Bradley and General Patton didn't get along, like they hated each other. And because they let their personal feelings even each other like influence themselves so much, they didn't like they didn't communicate with each other on the battlefield. That's retarded. When you know in Band of Brothers, when the 101st are sent into the Ardennes to protect Bastogne, mm -hmm. when it came down to Bastogne was surrounded by German forces. Bradley didn't do shit. <laughs> he was like, I'm so fucked right now, but I'm not gonna ask Patton for help. He's like, just fuck that. <laughs> Again, it was Sorry, Eisenhower. They didn't need help. It was Eisenhower <laughs> who ordered Patton to go help them. I'm pretty sure I recall in Band of Brothers. They didn't ask for No, actually, another thing I learned, and this is where I'm like, how the fuck did anyone do anything? Uh. The flip side to that is because Hitler had complete control over like all German military affairs, he kept ordering his generals to take Bastogne, right? Even though they couldn't do it because it was just so entrenched. Yeah. He wasted so many resources on Bastogne. No! NW2! That the, the German lines were spread so thin and they ran out of supplies. So even if Bradley or even if Eisenhower hadn't ordered Patton to go save Bradley, the Germans would have lost anyway because they didn't have the fucking supplies to go forward with it. Oh, <laughs> because Hitler wouldn't let them stop. <laughs> so guys, it's not working. Can I take a break? No, fuck. So yeah, these these are moments where I'm like, how the fuck did we do anything? Like, <laughs> how did we win this war? <laughs> they didn't know what they're doing either, apparently. What to do? What to do? Nah, Reinforce like Alaska. Like I gotta... Reinforce all of them with, like, evenly. No, all, all four of those territories. Actually, no, dude. 
Yeah. Well, if you, uh, no, never mind. What? Tell I was gonna, me. Tell me. I was gonna suggest beefing up, uh, uh, Venezuela. Venezuela. Yeah, I can't remember what it Well, reinforce those, put them all to five, put the rest into Venezuela, and then go up into Mexico. Like, abandon, basically abandon Venezuela so that way you can keep fighting on in North America. Plus, you gotta, like, Blah. And, and, you and your turn, though. Blamo! Blamo! Then put them all back into Venezuela. No. <laughs> Actually, like, split the force. As evenly as you can. Yeah, just like that. And, my and hopefully, as, as like, sorry mm. Denver, but hopefully he'll go into North Africa instead of attacking New well, that's, that's the thing though, is if he picks one of us, he's fucked. Because he doesn't have the resources to fight either of us. No. But yeah, that's that's kind of the best you can do for now. Just end it. We don't need to do it. At least that way, like, you're not overstretched, you got, hey, the, you got the card. Two star. Is there a three, three star one? No. It's no, one. It's just one. But that's the secret of risk. One territory at a time. Unless you are 100% certain you can take two. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's waiting till 30. <laughs> <laughs> then he's gonna put them all in one spot. That's the way to go. <laughs> Uh, beef up his I'm like Onyx. <laughs> Buy <Bide> your time. <laughs> That's the thing though, I'm at the point now where I'm like, what do I do? I can only attack you guys. No, you can attack Black. Uh, oh, I attack guess. Black. You know, like then you Yeah, I read the rules. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> if I take it. We're, we're not Blake. Blake. We're not Blake. We're not gonna call it World Peace. We're not gonna end You should have been faster on we're, your defense and your offense. We're not gonna end this game with the formation of the UN? No. No. We no, we have a UN going right now. We've condemned green and I black. I should attack you for that. <laughs> Do it. No. <laughs> Leave. Listen, I'll just take care of Look at all those guys. Yeah, no, no, that's a whole lot of Yetis. <laughs> hey, so yeti, yeti. Man, that guy's got an eye patch. He had an eye patch! <laughs> Don't worry, you got another one. You got two oh, more. Sweet. I like how more people just keep coming in. <laughs> Did you see his fucking like, his old face just now? <laughs> <laughs> I swear Penny Arcade did the artwork for this. <laughs> that one. <laughs> also, did you get a chance to watch those burdens of Shao Hao that I linked to you? Not yet. Ah, those are fucking sweet. You're gonna watch those and be like, I gotta fucking play that. I'm not even kidding. Like I watched them, was like, I better not be like that. I can't go to sleep. I gotta play WoW. <laughs> and then I logged in. I was like, oh, yeah, this is right. <laughs> I'm not in Pandaria right now. I do going crazy. Control I can get away with this much. I guess I'm not in love. Considering you're just, you're gonna be putting him up against Steve. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Is that not supposed to hear? <laughs> Should I put your mouth on? Your mouth. Your mouth. Uh, Matt, put something funny on the screen. I feel like you're you're probably bored of ending. So put something funny on the screen. Oh! Get out of my country! Snowden! Snowden. Snowden. Looks like it's gonna be a snow day. <laughs> I got political there. Did you hear? I said snow. Oh, I don't really know what that guy is. <coughs> Finish your deck. I hope they put everything in green light. Try to get the chat one back. They probably won't. What? No. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't know how to turn it off, Steve. I'm sorry. <laughs> it must be the Jeff controlling it from upstairs. <laughs> Jeff! Stop controlling things from upstairs. Alright. Except my turn comes next, I guess. So. So. They're not, they're not gonna have a chance to do a hip hop dance. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Guaranteed card. Then you can just, like, start skipping turns. Guaranteed? Then you still get cards. 
guess. <laughs> now you can stop attacking everybody. Go back to the snowy mountains of Australia. <laughs> I can. Just... Where Yetis come from. <laughs> the Yeti homeland of Australia. <laughs> I can just go about my peaceful ways and my peaceful monasteries. <laughs> Next time on Let's Play with Chris, we find out Denver peacefully destroys everybody. <laughs> <laughs>